This is a Friday, uh, no, Thursday night game. And I don't know if you watched Virginia and Miami, but I got to bring up something that that I was told over the weekend. Virginia gets the win 30 to 28. Miami doinks one off the crossbar as time expires. Derek or Derek King, excuse me, did not play in the game. Uh Van Dyke was the quarterback and was okay. Like it, the offense looked better with him than it has in a couple it, of weeks. It didn't in the first half. I'll tell you that. In the first half, it was kind of a well, yeah, disaster. It was his but first it, start. Yeah, it took him a little while to get going. And and once they got it going, he was perfectly fine. Like it, it the offense looked good. But we we now have people questioning whether or not Manny Diaz is going to remain the Miami head coach after this season. Which well, is, how many losses do you think he needs to get fired? Because he right now has three. Yeah, they're two and three currently. Uh, the way the schedule sets up, I mean, it, they they got a week off, and then they go to North Carolina. They got NC State. They play at Pitt. Like They, they could lose all three of those games. They, they could reasonably lose every game remaining on the schedule except for at Duke. Like they That's got Virginia Tech true. at Florida That's State. Probably true. Yeah, Georgia Tech. But, but this is but this is not like Kentucky could lose those three games, and Kentucky could win those three games. No, they legitimately won't be favored in any of those next three games, and I, I think they're going to get beat kind of bad by some of those teams. I think some of those losses are going to be ugly. It's it's very possible if they end up with they're going to be losing sitting record. six and two after eight games. If but no two and six. Two and six, sorry. Yeah, two and six. And if that's the case, if they end with a losing record this season, I could absolutely see him being gone. Like, oh, yes, that's what. Like, but this is this was this was my breakdown a, a couple of weeks ago, maybe, or maybe it was this week. Is is I don't I I think they're playing for for bowl eligibility. I think they're playing to yeah. try to get this. They needed to beat Virginia in my eyes with any chance to get to six and six. Yes. Yes. I, what I heard was that some of the boosters at Miami appear to be infatuated with Hugh Freeze. Well, that doesn't surprise me at all. Is that? Do you think that that is a, a match made in heaven, or is that impossible? Like, I, not impossible, Why is it but impossible? like... So because hang on, of hang on. you care you care about fit you care about culture or not culture but like you care about is this guy like the right size person for this particular place does he agree and align with the politics or the 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 boosters I don't give a shit about any of that if you can coach football he could go out to 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 Cal Berkeley and he could win football games, okay? You could take Mr. Southern Baptist and drop him into Stanford, and he's going to win football games, and they're going to love him, all right? Coaches can coach, Gary. All the rest of that stuff is bullshit. You, okay, so I I have thought like you for a long, long time, and I will tell you, Sam Pittman changed my mind on a lot yeah, of this, no, along like with... O. It, right. Guys like and guys like Sam Pittman. Every now and then, you're going to get somebody that is a perfect fit. And you know what those people can do? They can do something special every now and then. Okay, yeah. they can put together a team really special in, in the short term. But they're not going to be great year in and year out. It's just it's just not that great. If it does, then they're great coaches. Then they could pack their shit and they could go somewhere else and do it as well. Agreed. Okay, that is a that's a valid point. That's a valid point. Uh, but the the Hugh Freeze to Miami talk I thought was incredibly interesting. But that's about all that was interesting from this game. Bronco gets a another big W. He is doing fantastic things at Virginia. He and, almost pissed that game away. There's no reason. They oh should yeah, have been. man. Miami got dominated in that football game. There was yes. no reason Miami should have been in the place to try to even win the game right there. It was the the fact that they got back in it. Was I mean they, Virginia was up nineteen to seven and it should have been worse. It should have yeah. been worse. It should it should have been worse. Virginia did not look good in that game. No, it, it, in a in a game in which you didn't get it, you didn't lose. That's a good thing. But they didn't look great. They didn't impress me a whole lot. Casey just, uh, Casey jumped in. Virginia is way better than they looked recently. Let's see. Jason Case uh, Miami's an entertaining embarrassment, except not on the same level as hapless awful Florida State. Florida State got a win yesterday, by the way. That was, that was good. A uh, field goal, but, you know. But Brown Yeti said, hookers and blow are easy to find in Miami. Sounds like a good fit for his recruiting style. <laughs> Ghost Dog said, Chris is spot on about coaches. Yes. No, 100%. Like, if you're a good coach, if you're a rock star, you're going to be a rock star anywhere. It's just, I don't know how many rock stars there are. Like, I think Hugh Freeze is one. Okay, uh, then it doesn't so, matter so where it doesn't he goes, matter. then. But I, I do, I don't know. 
Like it's it's all the baggage and when I guess Miami like doesn't care about baggage at this point. They just they, get us some wins, damn it. Like get they, we got to find something going on. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at @garywce at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.